Hi, good morning. That's Uli from Discovery Dolomites and ClatternDolomiten.com. I'm doing this video just to give you a rough idea about the hut to hut tour. How is the stay in a hut? How uh, does hut look like? And I'm doing this video for me and for my super professional colleagues. And uh, I will give you instructions how to pack. Uh, you will see how the refugio is in, inside and uh, some more information. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm arriving to the Rotter die Weil hut, which you see in the background. The little hut is the Peter Riva hut, which doesn't offer overnight stays. So you will also stay in this hut probably, Rotter die Weil. Up there, that's the Masare Ridge, which on our usual hut to hut tour is planned for the second day. But yesterday, due, sorry, I'm briefing because I was walking, due to the bad weather, we had to change the plans and we did that for the first because we have more flexibility in just in case of um, bad weather. We did a tour, the thunderstorm came in the afternoon, everybody was happy, and today we are doing the Via Ferrata Roda di Weil, which you see straight up, straight up uh, there. So, uh, me personally, I didn't sleep at the hut because uh, most of us, we have family, but it's early morning. So my customers start breakfast at 7.15. I'm arriving now and uh, have a coffee with them. And then we start for the day. This is the Bederiva hut. And Angela is so nice and she bakes so delicious cakes that I'm going to have a cake with Angela now. Where is she? Angela is not here, but she will be here soon. Just watching for her. That's the hot dog. And that's the view up here. Looks, ah, Angela is down there. Ciao, Angela. Mi fai un caffè. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Sto facendo un video per i miei clienti. I said, you make the best uh, buckwheat cake, which is gluten-free. Angela, she's making a real Italian coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upstairs now, so this is the area where you go to sleep. You shouldn't go there with your shoes. And this is the inside of the refugio. <laughs> ciao, buongiorno. Ciao, 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 ciao. Ecco. So, have a look how it's inside. That's where you have a breakfast and where you have a dinner. I'm going now to see where my customers are. Yeah. I'm upstairs now. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Breakfast. <laughs> That's the time. How was your night? Okay, Good. I'm just doing a short video how to show uh, my customers how the rooms are. So that's a room early morning. Uh, I had to stop before because of privacy, of course, but that's where you will sleep in the Bola di Vail hut. Let me have a quick look at the shoes. These are uh, broad shoes. These ones here, they are perfect. These are hiking boots, also perfect. These are a little bit heavier hiking boots. They are fine, but um, you're maybe better with uh, low, low ankle uh, boots. What is not fine, this kind of shoes is absolutely not fine for the Vieferata. Don't use them. Don't use sandals. <laughs> no, just kidding. And yeah, I think uh, that's uh, that's it for the days in the video. My today's two customer, <laughs> mother and daughter, really special thing. Um, let us go over the, the clothing. Today is very warm, so they wear leggings, um, t-shirt, that's fine. But an absolutely essential thing is that you have a long pants with you, a fleece jacket uh, and a rainproof jacket. That's my backpack. It's uh, 30, 30 liters. That's a backpack of Kate and that's the backpack of Daisy, also 30 liters. Perfect for the tour. Yeah, that's me in person now. You see, I'm wearing long pants, t-shirt and a light fleece jacket. I'm going to empty my bag now. Let's see what's inside. I have my helmet, of course. I have another cap. I have uh, some snacks with me. I have water with me. 
maybe ring a liter or a liter and a half at least. I'm using a little bit less. I have a rainproof Gore-Tex jacket, but you should bring at least a rainproof jacket. Must not be Gore-Tex, but um, rainproof. Then I have my climbing harness and all the stuff with me. I have a rope. You don't need to carry the rope, but it's uh, my job to carry the rope. And I have a first aid. That's uh, generally for your packing. Then you just need your overnight stuff, which is maybe a t-shirt on top. Um, then you need a sleeping bag liner and the toiletry. That's it. What do you would say? What, do you, what else you need? No need to bring heavy power banks. They have electricity. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, maybe just a warm jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For night time. Yeah. Pajamas. No, you didn't need pajamas. We got one important thing for today at least sunscreen <laughs> okay thanks now in the winter the huts are not opened at least this one is not open because it's too far from uh, from the slopes so it's closed they just run it in the summer and uh, the question before was if it's tap water it's not tap water because it's not uh, controlled so no one died so far if uh, you drink it, but it's better if you buy the water in the in the hut. Not to make business, but it's safer. Wonderful! Uh, only only James Bond can oh, ski yeah. here. You said that. with the helicopter. <laughs> with the helicopter. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I have oh, I have <laughs> just one more question. What yes. what did you have for uh, dinner yesterday? Oh oh spicy oh. pasta. Then we had steak. Okay. And we swapped because it came with beans. We don't like beans. No. Okay. So tin beans with potatoes. Uh huh. And minestrone soup. Yeah. And then for breakfast today, oh, yeah. hang on, pudding. We pudding. had tiramisu. Was for pudding, but we didn't have it because we went to the independent coffee shop and we had so chocolate cake. They have really nice hot chocolate there. <laughs> Great. So yeah. your energies are filled for the day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very strong. Yes. That's Going up day. there. We are higher up, it's blue sky here, but as you can see, we have a little bit more clouds in this direction. And uh, in the next sequence, you will see what can happen when the weather turns bad with some hail. Today it's stable, but just to give you an idea what can happen. So it's because then I'm talking about the legal aspect and you will better understand what happens if the weather turns, turns bad. <laughs> You're laughing. I need to come back on the legal aspect. <laughs> Kate, you said you're teaching law at the university. Yes. So, what do you think about the rules for our customers? <laughs> I, I have one important rule to say. If our customers, they don't have a proper shoes yes. or proper equipment, which we explained now in the video, we have the right to send them back yes. without refunding the, the money. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> you're teaching law. <laughs> That's controversial. I think maybe they wouldn't get their deposit back. <laughs> yeah, but if they come in the morning yeah. and the weather forecast, uh, like yesterday, for example, looks really bad and they're coming without rain gear, they're coming with improper shoes. Uh, we are booked, what do you think? What's, uh, what's the law like? <laughs> <laughs> what would the law say? I think you'd have to have that very clearly in your terms conditions yeah, yeah. at the outset so people understood. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, that's what we write in our terms yeah. and, and conditions. Yeah. And that if the gear is not proper, because our problem is that uh, if we take the people without proper equipment, then it's getting dangerous. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, do it and that. our job is to take care of the safety of the of our clients. So if I take someone just in shorts, for example, and the conditions are very bad, uh, I can't. I can't take him because no. uh, that's no, it's uh, not safe. yeah. So let me say we are very kind. We try always to to help our customers, but if someone doesn't listen to us, uh, that's the consequence. I would say we are there uh, every day before the tour starts. Every customer can answer or write us questions, how much uh, they want. We will answer it, but then if there is something really wrong, but really wrong in the equipment, uh, that's the rule. 
you agree on that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you want me to agree on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to, you to agree. <laughs> <laughs> but I just told you I'm not very good at yeah. doing as I'm told. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we haven't had that situation so far no, well, and it's written in our terms. Yeah. I but think the advice would be check what you need, bring it with you. If you haven't got it, ask Ulrich, he'll bring it for you. I yeah. never want to be happy. Yeah, I okay. <laughs> we agree on that. <laughs> we can agree on okay. that. Okay, good. I think that's it for this uh, introduction video. And uh, the climbings you see in the other videos. And see the people up there. So where, 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 where? Yeah, up there. That's our way now. We don't make uh, videos now, but we are going to climb.